YouTube, welcome back. Today's weight, 239. Checked in Miss Sass, he's happy. Repeat the same plan, off we go. Now that's quite a big jump in weight, but that's because we've run on anabolics. And you can definitely notice the GH has gone in and has been increased. But I'm just as lean, which is crazy. So glute striations, quad striations, at 239. I'll take it. Also, today's weigh-in, I had a, I did a poo, but then I really needed to go straight after my check-in. Like and it was the world came out of my bum. So I um yeah. Probably about 237, 236. But we, we'll, let's let's just say, right, because I have done two big poos. I did two nice ones. Um but yeah, I cut back on the veg a little bit and using different veggies as I think the courgette was causing me some bad distress. Maybe the sulfur in it was causing some issues. And I've put, I have put—I sucked it up yesterday, uh, not yesterday, Sunday, big time, with the rest day. Because the food's lower and appetite's crazy. Also, the tan was getting really, really good because I'm using melanotan. Uh, I'm trying to get my feet to match the rest of my body because I stopped. couldn't be asked to wear socks. Couldn't be asked to take my, my uh, ankle socks off. So I've got pale white feet. But they're getting there. Anyway. Um, today's a high day, so a thousand grams of carbs going in today. Uh, obviously the off-plan meal is one that's a less naughty, um, shall we say, a little less, a little less cheaty. So only swapping one meal out for that. And um, I've calculated should be getting about 200 grams of carbs in, probably just over with that meal, which is good, which is good is what I need to be doing. So I'm gonna show you me pre. We've got a blueberry and we've got a chocolate muffin. And I want to do a taste test because I'm using the chocolate uh, peanut butter, cream of rice with the chocolate pistachio whey. So we're going to get that stuck in. All right, because that's, that's very important. Also, I would like to say the last video I uploaded, no, it wasn't the last one. Uh, the one I uploaded previously, my full day of eating. Thank you to everyone who's given me suggestions with the, um, what's it called? Cereal, because I tell you what, I'm blown blown away with the amount of people who, who got back straight away. So I was really taken back by that. And then also, the suggestions are wild. So I'm going to Costco, uh, Costco. I'm gonna go to B&M, because they've got a lot of the American ones in there at good prices as well. A lot more selection than Tesco's and Sainsbury's where I am. So, um, and I also got to get some the zero calorie golden syrup. So after training, we go there. And I'll tell you, I'll show you what we get. We get well. I'll show you what I get after training, because I'm buzzing for that. I'm not going to film all my sets in the gym, even though I say that every week, and I end up filming the old workout. But we're in for a big chest session, chest side delts, and the um, um triceps. So I'm doing it today. I'm travelling on Thursday. I would have done this on a delt day, but I've got a bit of delts today, and my chest is shit anyway. So that whole upper line just needs to be three dimensional popping. We. Big fucking like that, big, you know what I mean? Like a big pair of tits. But pecs, not tits. Not like Chanel's. Anyway, I'll do this thing off camera. Five. Oh, you little bastard. That was one. Righty, oh, right toe. Oh, my legs sore. Right. I won't put cinnamon on it just yet. I like a sprinkle of cinnamon on the fruit. Here we go. Let's get a big chunk. There you go. Nice big chunk of that. Nice big chunk of this. Knock him off. Here we go. Another one. Mmm. Okay. I didn't have enough balance 
because that was all just the chocolate pistachio, which is banging. But the mixture of them two, it slaps. Well done. Mm. I haven't tried a bad cream of rice by the train by JP guys yet. Very nice with the Velociway as well. The Velociway is very, very good. I need to get some more of that. But I want to try the custard cream flavour. Because I've got custard cream flavoured cream of rice, you see. So I want to try that, but I'll have to wait till I get the order in. Also, that blueberry muffin will go to the chest. That'll go to the delts and triceps. Because that's math, you see. You guys haven't done the studies that I have done. You know, like, look, think about it. So, blueberry uh, and the way that breaks down into the body, you know, and shuttles the nutrients around the bloodstream, what we see is a, an uptake uh, of nutrients within the chest, within the pec area. Uh, and this is down to, you know, your mitochondrial and um, the, the cells and how they actually work. Um, see, when you sound just say big words, people were like, oh, this guy knows what he's talking about. When that's total bollocks, this goes where it wants to go, right? Do you know what I'm saying? The training, get after it, enjoy your food. You want to add some muffins into your diet, add your fucking muffins into your diet. You want to eat some cookies into your diet, add some cookies into your diet. You want to eat cream of rice, eat cream of rice. You want to do both, you want to drink some water, drink some water. Don't tell anyone that you, don't tell, don't let anyone tell you can't do anything. Tell those fuckers, fuck off, go fuck off. Right, time to eat. Here we are, right in the gym. Car to start off with, six sets, and then we're going to some chest. So, and then we've got a bit of side delts, loaded on carbs, ready to go. Tell you what, my lower back, my back, some bits from yesterday. That was a good back session. Very, very good. Finished it off with uh, my last back exercise. Back exercise was, back exercise, it was uh, stiff legs, just reps after reps, killing it. Oh, fucking hell! My quads are still sore from leg day. Oh, that was unexpected. Jesus. Fucking hell. All right. Man up a bit. Jesus Christ. Oh. Like boff boff, calves are activated. I did film a set, but I didn't fucking record it. I was an idiot, so I actually did 40 ki kilos. Got without realizing, to be honest. I was like, mm, that feels really good. Let me put a five on. I'm gonna take these fives, I'm not gonna throw them away because I'm gonna do tens for the next one. So that set got me, that got me fucking pumped. That fucked me up. Like, I literally got about 11 reps and I was like, Jesus Christ. But they ended up busting out a solid 12. But I'll probably stay on that and really try and get that to a solid 15. Make sure I keep it connected. That's what I've got to make sure I do on here. Oh yeah, boy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight, nine, ten, ah, ah. <laughs> fucking twat, my fucking cars are cunted. Ooh. Jesus Christ, this is gonna get fucking wild. All right, all right, okay. 
I'm gonna bust out four more sets on here and then I'm gonna go hit some chest. Let's fucking do it. I can feel the calves. That's a muffin in there and that's the uh, blueberry muffin, you see. That's why you gotta do two, you see? It's science. All right, first chest exercise. You all right, Lee, you good? First working set. Put a little smidge on. Just make sure I stay connected. This is an exercise where I'm staying connected to big time. You know, like, this is really easy to use external momentum on. And I don't fancy doing that anymore. You know what I'm saying? on that this is our first chest set and I'm like woo the pump's gonna be nuts all right so strength is uh, coming back but I gotta make sure I stay connected I mean I could easily go and throw up 54s or something shitty like that but I would not be connecting with it and I find such a big difference when I actually try connecting my chest um, I find it really fucking hard I'm being honest my voice broke when I did that but anyway, if you took the uh, pass the left one up to, uh, to my hand when I'm down yeah, yeah. alright because I'm like fucking half a fruitcake and can't fucking throw them up I got a big vas here it's gonna give me a good spot this is the worst thing about dumbbells is that I can't do dumbbells without having fucking assistance so it does put me off wanting to do them but I talked myself into doing them today so if I pull it down oh, oh. Okay, I'll, I'll, let, I'll let you know when, I'll let you know when. Yeah, okay, nice! Come on. Easy. At my chest. Woo! It's like so slow and it moves. Oh, that felt good. We're getting there, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting there. Oh. All right, this is the hardest thing putting the weights back. But it's necessary. If you've worked in a gym, you'll know how fucking annoying it is when someone doesn't put their weights back in the gym it's like what are you doing bro come on put them back all right I'm gonna do two more sets I'm gonna go 42s 38s but actually stay fucking connected we'll get back up to the 60s but it's just gonna take some time but along with that we should have the chesticles that match someone of the 60s oh it's about leaving my ego at the door. Progressing lifts, actually, whilst being very connected. Maybe overly connected. I say overly, but having to think about it more with the chest, because it's an area that there's obviously not come up like my legs did with the last push-up I did. The legs come on fucking really, really good. Really, really, really good. Mm. All right, let's go. Whew. So I have been doing the uh, incline hammer strength, but there's someone on it and he's like, hey, how long you got? F 15 minutes. Okay. So I take that as, I don't want you to jump in with me. But sometimes this is where we have to adapt our sessions and that's it. 
Oh yeah, right, you, he's on. Sorry, I had to shit myself in. Right, so I'm gonna do this. Can't remember how heavy this felt, but I'd put it on 50. We're gonna jump in for a working set, and we're just gonna give it the beans. Oh, fucking hell, look. Right. Oh. That's way too light. You've got to be careful though, because straight away you throw it straight on the delt. You can't really bring your elbows too low. It's really funny, really odd. I'm just going to really look at my chest. Watch my chest for me, everyone. Just watch my chest, see my chest. Contract and stretch. And in either right, that machine's gash, never go on it again. Or, it looked good, Josh, you're okay. Okay? That's the deal. Just like you all did with the cereal. You guys are my eyes and ears. Fucking hell, that feels well heavy. Okay, well that was a high rep set, wasn't it? I'll tell you what though, I used this before and it was shit, but I'm using it today. You know what I mean? And it's fucking, my upper chest is fucking Jesus. I thought I was getting strangled then, but I think it's because I done flat. I say heavy, heavy for me. And then, boom onto here. I'm gonna go hit the pin loaded press after this as well. You good? I feel fantastic, thank you. Always nice to be polite. Right, two more sets on this. Let's fucking go, guys. Stallions. <laughs> Still in here getting after it, that's what I like to see. Well, yeah, Italian stallions. Italian stallions. I had a, talking about Italian, I had a really nice pizza on Saturday night. Oh, third press of the day. Killer. Just two sets though. Make sure we look after the elbows. The elbows are good actually. More the joints, the shoulders. Oh. You alright, Helen? Hey, but behave yourself, she'll show us all up, mate. What? I said, behave yourself, Lee, she'll show us all up. No. no. He's taking photos of him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, love that. Oh, I need to move the seat down a little bit. My oh, fucking. Oh, I'm not gonna work. I'm not gonna lie. The Vascimax plus the extra food and the insulin. Um, well, you didn't know about the insulin, but if you're on the four-ball site, you would have known about the insulin. But insulin went in today. Obviously, you, you look, I'm eating a lot of fucking carbs. All right. I'll be honest. I'm always honest, anyway. But you know, I'm trying to oh, stick to my contract. Oh, here we go. There we go, right. Probably can be it. Fucking hell. Oh, 
fucking hell. Ah. Oh my god. Well, funnily enough, I got more reps than last time. Oh my fucking god. I actually feel like I've got a pair of tits. I'll have a look in the mirror. I'll do some flies and then we'll look in the mirror. I'm upstairs, so I'm in a bit blue because there's a blue light up here. So, if you're wondering why I'm blue, this is the reason why. Oh god, I'm not going to lie, my chest feels battered. Oh, here we go. Oh, this one's a bit heavier than the one downstairs. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Nine. Ten. Oh my fucking knob trees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My chest is battered and bruised. Oh my fucking knob. Just the contraction on this is ridiculous. Obviously, look, I'm still thinking about, okay, well, I'm doing X amount of reps, I should go up, right? I still think that because progressive overload is important, but Staying connected and using the muscle is really fucking important because if I'm not progressing the muscle or if I'm not staying connected to the muscle nor am I getting a, getting a pump whilst I'm eating a fucking thousand grams of carbs something's very, very wrong. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's not always going to be times when you're going to get a pump. There's not always going to be times when you feel overly connected. All right? Especially when you're beginning. But as things progress and it's been on the, the phase dependent, you should be feeling things. You know, and I, I believe that, I really fucking do. You know? And uh, I don't push that narrative on people. Because some people won't feel certain muscles for a while and you see them grow. Because I've seen people who said, oh, I don't really feel my lats. And you're like, you know, you're, you're 70 kilos. No wonder you don't feel your lats. You don't have any muscle. And then you see them at 85 kilos and you're like, whoa. You've got some lats, and they're like, yeah, I kind of feel my lats when I do a pull-down exercise. You're like, oh, yeah. Well, keep on going. <laughs> All right. One more set on here. Uh, two more, actually. Three sets on this. And then I'm going to do five sets of the side, uh, side delts. And try and bust out five of them fuckers. And I'll do some triceps when I'm done. But uh, this is the last thing. Well, I'm, this is the last chest exercise. So I'm going to put it here because the receiver is um, is dying and I want to be able to show you what uh, cereal we have hopefully they've got some good ones and it can go straight in the tits my chest is going to be sore till about Friday fuck me oh, man that is, I'm pumped I'll do a quick mirror thing we go downstairs but that's it because I'm fucking pumped to shit Fuck it, it's a busy gym, I'll take my thing off, look. Fuck it. What's up, bro? Good. Huh? Good, man. You got the more shows coming up? No, I'm, I'm, I'm actually pushing up. I'm just, oh, yeah? I'm just staying lean whilst I get bigger. So you look fucking good, man. Oh, fuck. What yeah. weight you have today? Uh, 2.39 today. I have no idea, Stone. It's like... So we're back, time for post-workout food. 
quickly waft this meal in and then I have it mixed up, yep. Time to uh time to then crack on with a bit of new starter plans. Put your put a film on whilst I'm doing that, crack on, and then uh then for another meal. Right, so I just wanted to show you what I got. So I wanted these. Lucky Charms. Boom! Get them in, big lad. So pretty good macro-wise, what we're looking for. So relatively lower fat, so just under four grams of fat per 100 grams, which is lovely. Getting the carbies in, I'm gonna have them today, and also someone's suggestion, which I don't know how I forgot, and I didn't realize I forgot how low fat these were, so pretty darn good. Uh, be able to get some hefty carbs in. The absolute golden of gold, Frosties. I didn't get a big pack because I just thought I want to try different bits. They have quite a few bits missing. These are just bits for Chanel. Chanel's uh, bits she has. And also something for the off-plan meal. They will have some baked beans. Help get those carbs up, which is good. And also golden syrup, a zero calorie that is needed. Because it's key for oats. Actually, well, not all the time, only on the morning oats. It's quite nice. It's lovely. So, they're the ones I'm going for. I do 100 and, what, 30 grams? No, 125 grams of cereal. So, uh, yeah, I'll go through these pretty quick. I mean, this is only 133... 100? Well, no, no, no. Uh, three, uh, 330. This one's less. 300. So, if you're doing like 150, that's two mils. So, that's where you've got to stock up on cereal. Also, if you're wondering why this is out, because post workout I have a scuba hydromax because I sweat a shitload while I was training and I started feeling a bit funky. Uh, I think I've already explained this on a video, but I had a bit of a feeling a bit funky and I was drinking a lot, but I just couldn't get that, just get that feeling. I just couldn't get rid of it. Salt with my meals and then obviously, boom, realized. Depleting your stores of all the essential electrolytes that you have. Put some back in, Josh. What happens? Kaboom, I feel pretty good. I'm gonna have some pickles and kimchi with this as well. With this meal, because that's what I fancy. So, and also having some tender stem. But gonna drop the courgettes low out, and I'm using tender stem for now. Anyway, let me put all this shit away, and let's get cracking. Right, it's cheat meal time, and I fancy the fry up, that's what I want. But I'm thinking about what we're having. So I'm gonna go for three whole eggs. Obviously getting a decent amount of fats in with this because some of this is fattier meats like bacon, but we're going for three, three rashes of bacon. We're not going crazy, but we will be getting about 70 grams of protein. We've got red caramelized proper sausages, proper fucking sausages. And we are gonna cook it in butter. So there is going to be a higher amount of fats in this meal, but we're still trying to get our aim for our nice amount of carbs. So we've got some sourdough bread, nice, easy, 400 grams of sourdough here. So I'm doing 200. Chanel's going to do the other 200 to see if he can get it in. And then also we have got half tin of beans, which is a nice shit. I said I thought I was going to go for the whole tin of beans. Bollocks. We may need to try and get some more carbs in from elsewhere because I've just remembered should have bought two because I was going to do a whole one should I could do half a one absolute bollock wank we've well, got some jam I can always do a jam bagel it's probably a little bit too many carbs we'll work it out don't worry but let's get this sorted I am going to have a banana as well so that's some carbs so I want to make sure I use those bananas Anyway, my belly's rumbling, I'm hungry, and I've just got to start making this meal. Meal time is not actually due to another 15 minutes, so this will probably take me hours to sort out because I'm an idiot, but there we go. I also forgot, really, really important ingredient. I know where my missing carbs were. Fucking hash browns. Bosh. But I've kind of fucked up because I've put everything in the things taking all the space up in the fucking oven. So I'm gonna cook the bacon now. So now it's gonna be like, bacon's freezing. I know, chill the fuck out, love. Do you know what I mean? But I think I can air fry these. It doesn't say you can air fry them, but I'm pretty sure you can air fry everything. In the oven, how to cook. Shut up, you can't. 
Let's Google it. Oh, hey! Bear with me, me look at me fucking sausages. Right, this is a Yobo Hobo special. Chanel knows where that's from. So did the Yobo Hobo special bread. This is sourdough bread, not Tuscany bread. Sourdough bread with Lurpuk butter cooked on the uh, on on the stove. There you go. We've got sausages, three bits of bacon, three sausages, two whole eggs. Lovely jubbly, getting it down. We have got 200 grams of sourdough, which is beautiful. We've got our uh, five hush browns as well. Lovely jubbly. We've got two of butter. And then I'm going to do the two of jam just to make up the carbohydrates. So we should get a hefty, about just over 220 grams of carbs, which will be nice. Yee yeah, boys! Lovely, bloody, jubbly. There's here is two old eggs under those beans. You can just see the egg there. And if you know where Yobo Hobo Special is from, please let me know, because you're an absolute legend. El Prez. I don't know, how many people know who Quantum Bishop was? Black Ops 2, it's Black Ops 6 now. We have to still celebrate that man, because he was fucking hilarious. Um, anyway, can you pause that video, Chanel? I never even got around to watching most of that, because I was busy. Oh, I'll have that before you throw it away. I'll eat my dinner with it. You said they might have cooled down. Have you seen the fucking sting? I don't know, well, I just, uh, yeah, well, it might have been cooled down. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, this is the meal, and you know I'm putting ketchup here somewhere because <laughs> we need ketchup anyway that's gonna be cold gonna eat it as you can see it is quite a cheaty meal but it's not too like it, it, it's quite high in fats but i'm being calculated with my second cheat now obviously as you know on the saturday night kind of let our hair down a little bit but probably is going to uh come down a little bit uh, let's hope this brings my weight up because it should and i have been calculated so it should if we wake up and we weigh the same, or we weigh less, we know we kind of fucked up. <laughs> we know we kind of need more, but we should be good. Anyway, I need to get this down, because this took longer to prepare than I thought, and I don't want to be behind my meals. Works fine. Tomorrow. No, rest there, sir. So. Do you want me to take it to your car? Where? To where? No, I said it to your car. Oh, well, I'm getting my hair cut, so... Oh. I don't fancy driving your car. I'm going anywhere. Oh, sorry. I thought you just said training. Right. Well, I've got that. I just take it straight away. You know what? I'll do some honey one right now. Who's that? Fucking hell. Right, I just want to do a taste test of the honey on the sourdough. And yes, I'm weighing it out just so I know what I'm having. Weirdo, I know. Cool, fucking hell. 20 grams is a bit more than I thought. Not quite there yet. What about the other bit? I don't know if I want to do it on there. <laughs> What's well, runny? <laughs> careful. I've got it. Mm. Lovely. Mm. Hmm. Oh, it's really nice bread though, isn't it? I don't have it yet. But I can I want to try a sausage. Behave yourselves. 
casually just wipe my uh, buttery hand on. That's no you've cooked me in the last. That's the first time I think I've cooked for you in ages. And I've cooked you similar stuff. Like beans, a bit of... Mmm. I was going to get the apple ones. And I thought, oh, caramelised fucking red onion. Mmm. These are proper bangers. Proper bangers. Bangers and mash. That's a good cheat meal. A bit cleaner. Mm. Bit of ketchup, bit of ketchup, bit, bit of red sauce, bit of red sauce. This is the Yobo Hobo bread. Mm. And you only beast once once you've had it. Bit of bacon that's smothered in beans. I think yeah, we've got to have enough of that side right now. On the table. Oh, guys, it's tremendous. I am gonna finish my meal. And then we've got one more meal before bed. But this is a very good idea. Oh, guys. So, last meal is gonna go in very soon. I'm gonna sit on the sofa for a bit. It is uh, quarter to 10 at night. So last meal will go in a little bit later today. Just where I got a little bit delayed, I went to the shop. When I went to the shop, and when I was having my pre, I realised, I was like, fucking hell, I'm usually in the gym by now. But I didn't want it to stress me out. So I didn't let it stress me out. Because I was like, all right, well, that's, that's what it is. Um, but we are about 900 gram of carb in, or just over. Because that meal's a little bit over, 200 gram of carb. Uh, which is lovely. Uh, that was beautiful. The last meal we just had, that cheat meal. Whoa. Exceptional. Hey, Smokey. We gave Smokey a couple of beans as well. He enjoyed them. Socks is out and about outside, so he missed out on the beans. Um, uh, anyway, I feel absolutely shattered. I'm going to get my last meal in, and then I am off to bed. And that's it, you know. We're, uh, we're pushing along. I said to you in prep that I was going to keep these videos up because... I don't know, I just like talking, I guess. <laughs> the tan's coming on pretty well. I think I say it's every fucking video. I've got a sunbed today. I feel like I'm getting rather brown, you know. I'm not going to lie. I look really red there. I look like a, a reddish brown. No, I don't. Maybe it's just, I don't know. What about my arms? Yeah, look at that. Still banging, I'm banging the Milana tan. The way that I'm doing it is I put two mil in. So... Uh, one on the, or ten, depending on what you want to, what, what your slim pins look, is uh, is not point is half half a milligram. So I've been doing half a milligram every day, rather than doing the bomb rush, fucking. What was I doing? Like something stupid. I can't remember. I did the whole vial in five days. So a lot. A fucking lot. That's what it was. It was like 10, millig 10 milligrams over five days. So 2.5, I think it was averaging. Oh, listen to this, guys. Wait for it, wait for it. Oh. So with the half, I don't feel like I get the nausea or anything like that. I do get to bed right away in fear that I will start feeling really nauseous. But it hasn't dyed my beard black yet, which is good. So I've just been using that just to see if I can get my feet uh, to catch up with my body because I got lazy and I couldn't be asked to go on the take my three quarter length socks off or ankle socks, whatever you want to call them. Three quarter length. That's not what you call them, is it? That's what the three quarter lengths are the, are the old shorts. Do you remember them? And they'd be like tracksuit bottoms and you'd zip, you'd zip them underneath and take them off because you'd, cause you'd get too hot. I don't know if they still exist. What a great idea. That's when you know you're getting old and you think that's acceptable. Oh, anyway, I was gonna, I'm going to wrap the video up because I'm fucking shattered. I'm absolutely fucking shagged. And, uh, yeah, a few busy evenings coming up, busy days, etc. Um, but it's good. Blessed to be busy, guys. It's good to be. Just pushing hard and uh, food's high and appetite's sky high. 
and we're just really making the most of this start of this off season and going up nice and steady and I say going up nice and steady, I'm gaining really well, but we're not having to do much to get big, if you know what I mean. The, the body wants the food, the food, put the food up, take it was hell to begin with because obviously the appetite was so sky high, it was crazy, but we held in there and now we're paying the, uh, now we're getting the benefits, you know. We're still very lean, chest is completely striated, we still got glute lines, squat striations in the quads, and, um, you know, we're sitting fucking, fuck knows up, what are we? Uh... We're over, what, 22 pounds up from stage weight and we're like still fucking gnarly, gnarly hard, which is great. It's a great place to be. So, yep. Yeah. Lovely cheap meal today. That was beautiful. Tomorrow, rest day food, which is nice. I think I'll have a good couple of coffees tomorrow. That'll get me for it. A nice couple of coffees, monsters. Good, I need to put some air in my tires because the light came on. The traction control light came on as well, but it feels fine. But I'll sort that out when we get off the uh, little trip away this weekend, because we're going up to a gym this weekend uh, for their birthday. Well, I'm there with full bore, um, so that's gonna be good fun, but it is up in near Manchester. So it's about a three hour drive, and then the next day, I'm gonna, that day I'm gonna drive to Hull, stay in a hotel, because I've got a client competing in Hull which is, I didn't realise, is another two and a bit hours away from the where the gym is. So, five hours of travelling in the car. Going to be fucking fun. Which, I got, you guys in America are like, that's my commute to work, bruv. That's not a bad, that's not a bad commute. What are you talking about? Whereas in England, I'm the other side of the fucking country. You know what I mean? That's unheard of. That's like, whoa, it's a big journey, boy. Ah, beautiful. Right, peace. Let's keep on growing.